Yes, I do love the big flat cock. And Mandingo was my first in a racer scene. Wow. My agent was like, hey, I have a scene for Mandingo, you know, and do you want to try it? I'm like, okay. And he, she's like, well, I got to go on you. He's kind of big. And I, said, and I never had met Mandingo before. And I say, okay, let's try it. Let's do it. You know, <laughs> what worst can happen is, but okay. it was awesome. We're I did so him good. twice. Yeah, it's actually, like, well, I'm tiny. I'm tiny. So when his 11 yeah. or 12 inches come yeah, in, it's yeah. like, you can feel it. Oh, yeah, oh my God. It's like, That's oh, my God. Really. Do you like a drink? Do you have a drink? I'm good right now. Do you want a drink? Thank you. Oh, my God. You guys are <laughs> nerds. How dare you? Let me get drunk all by myself <laughs> in the morning. I didn't have breakfast. That is your breakfast. Oh, well. Do you have any other questions? Um, just like a personal question. When Cindy, you came in, I saw your hot little tush. Can you show it off, Tess? Oh my God, we want to see our booty, girl. I'm a butt girl. No, me too, me too, me too. I'm an ass kind of girl. Like da na 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 butt girl. Yeah, let's see that booty, girl. Oh my God, you are so fun. And she's bun size. How far deep can you take a dick down your throat? Mm. I just I like to gag. I do. I love my, when they make me all like gagging and wanting to throw up, <laughs> yeah. which I did throw up in one scene actually. You do. You do. You do. You do. It was for Johnny Darko, and we have a bowl to collect the spit and everything. Really? And it was so deep down in my throat, and you know how all that spit was oh, all it come from your throat, <laughs> and you just like the throw up just gotta come out. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh and yeah, the gagging is so. Hard. It happens to everybody. Yeah, you just gotta quit right. eating. Yeah. If you never eat, you don't have anything to throw up. That's what I say. You gotta love a messy blowjob. Mm -hmm. I did yes. this. Yes, I did this softcore scene, and the director told me, "Oh, just." suck a dick like how you would do at home not like when you're on camera and yeah. it's like and actually like, when oh, you yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like, actually what I did at eyelashes with that fucking dick I know like, what, I, what I do at home is like kind of like the same thing I do on camera you're a slut and I like that <laughs> but hey I'm not gonna let any spit come out you know make it clean and nice for yeah. you so yeah. what about you Nick? give it all what about me? She loves yeah, the gagging on the dick. I do. I love it. No. 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 Middle Eastern cock. Eastern. So rare. It's so rare. I bet you did, girl. Oh my god, Dubai was awesome. Everyone in Dubai had the cleanest assholes really? ever. There's like a fucking hose at the uh, next to the toilet bowl. Really? Yes. What? I was eating the cleanest fucking ass ever. You gotta love it clean. Yeah. I know where I'm going on vacation next. <laughs> Beautiful Dubai. So I wonder if the Middle Eastern guys are more freaky because the women are more conservative. They were wonder, complete gentlemen. You know, like, I, don't I wonder know. how they are. Really, yeah. I've never I been with know. one, but hey, but I'm down. I like hey, something Middle different. Middle Eastern out yeah. there, mm -hmm. I'm available. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like I'm ready. You guys go to Dubai Lovely. together. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, thank you for coming Thanks on LiveGonzo.com. We will be watching out for you because you guys are both <laughs> filthy whores. <laughs> We'll see you on Live Gonzo. Okay, skedaddle. Get the fuck out of my face. Get out of here. Thank you. Thank you for coming on, and thank you for making this amazing Fleshlight. Actually, I do a podcast on Death Squad, too, and Fleshlight was one of the uh, sponsors of Death Squad. And I was, I've always wanted to have one of these, but I, I've, I've fisted these things. I've molested these things over the year. This is one of the greatest inventions ever. Yeah. Thank you for being a sponsor of the show. Absolutely, man. We love being here. Raul is an awesome guy, my good friend, and always takes care of us and showing this fake pussy. Sh showing off that pussy. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't I don't have the time or the patience to show off my pussy constantly. But if I had one of these, I would show it off to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been at it? Um, we Our product has been out since, I think we 
applied for our patents in 95, received them in 98, been selling the product ever since, and really been hitting the online market very hard for about the past uh, eight, ten years. And Bloodshot has like the hottest girls too. You have like all the digital playground girls. You have um, Nina Hartley, who's a legend. Yeah. You just came out with um, Kelly Shibari, BBW star. Yeah. You guys are, are, you know, kind of putting out something for everyone. And I think it's really cool. Yeah, our girls have been so great for us. They're always constantly promoting. Lisa Ann's one of our stars. He just She's is awesome. always talking about it. Yeah. Um, but like you said, we've got all the digital playground girls. Um, you know, Digital Playground team is great for yes. us, and they pr they promote it so well. So and you got an Asphyxia to... Noir Asphyxia. and Alexis Texas, yeah, so Kaden Cross. We did this whole searchlight competition where it was like the search for the next fleshlight girl, and all of the consumers actually voted on it. And um, and so yeah, it was really cool. We did something down at Laugh Factory down in Hollywood. It was um, at the comedy store. Co yeah, I'm sorry, comedy store. Yeah, <laughs> comedy store. Yeah. So yeah, it's been really cool. I'm stalking you. <laughs> Caden Cross won that, by the way, Alexis Texas as well. So, Well, we have uh, we were able to maintain a really top-of-the-line brand and a quality product, um, but it's so good that it actually doesn't really wear out. So, um, And no one's really kind of gotten into that area very well, so that's something we went after. And we're, we're, we started out small, and now it's kind of a badge of honor for some of the biggest stars. You guys are famous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to meet you. Nice to meet you, Brian. Hopefully I'll be a flashlight girl someday. We've got a molding crew backstage. So. Okay, I'm just going to just rip my pants off right now. I'm ready to go. Now, our dear fans, um, we will go further with our broadcast. And what you have to understand is that we are so thankful for Donna to make such a tremendous appearance on the camera. Thank and she's you. so busy that she has to go sign on her booth for you, for our fans. So now we will start to go further with a very boring um, discussion um, oh, on, on a CEO level towards our product. At Live Gonzo. Towards our product never. and how we think that we have to improve our services all the time for you. So you can buy our product so we can have this beautiful life. Thank Donna, you. thank you Mom. so much. And we, I really need to fuck you. Okay, well. <laughs> I really need to fuck book. you. Nice All right. Bye. God damn. Thank that was you. amazing. Talk to you later. Oh, you're amazing. Zach, come here. Let me introduce one of my best friends, the co-owner of Live Gonzo, the, the, one of the persons that, what I said about you all the time, he's one of my main mentors. Is that right? I deny it, but I hope it's true. Wow. And the reality is, Raul doesn't need a mentor. <laughs> well, I think I do all oh, the time. Come on, man. Look what you've built. Look what you've built. Where we're sitting, what we're doing, the people you've had in front of this camera on this microphone. And that's, the, and that's the third day because Brian was wasn't here to really see it because he's so busy, he's busy. so so busy. And I told him, I told him, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> As soon as I'm, I, I, as, as soon as I will have this content up on our members area, so you uh -huh. can see yeah. that what happened yesterday, is it what, and, and before yesterday, I have to, I have to apologize. I apologize, <laughs> to you. but it's a, but, no. but but that's this, this is the reason why you have me on, right? Because I gotta, exactly. I gotta have meetings. Exactly. Yeah. You wanted him to apologize yeah. in public, on camera, in oh, front of tens of millions of people. Oh, yeah. All right, we're even now. And I'm more sorry to you guys who yeah. allow us to have this life, allow us to be here. So thank you for loving our product. <laughs> hey, by the way, I personally love your product. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. It's absolutely the closest thing imaginable to the real thing. Listen, man, I, I fucked all of the flashlights. I have at home, uh, and I'm not, not because we have to understand now the, our, our traffic stopped now <laughs> because because we're done with our stars. Now, I insisted to go further because I have such a good fucking time. And, and why, why to not continue once we are here? So, so what I'm gonna, about to say is not about uh, our business relationship, but really, Zoli, who is uh, one of my childhood friends, come here for a little bit. 
when I said to him, dude, listen, this is a flashlight product, and uh, you have to fuck that flashlight product. I did. Very well. And? Very well. Would, would you, what, would, what can I say? Would you say aggressively? Woo! <laughs> because you had, you had to try it out, right? You had Dude. to really test it. I don't know. I got addicted. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. What can I it say? Should, hey, it should come with a warning label. You know, no. it, it, it should. It should. It should come with a warning label. Maybe addictive and cause relationship problems. <laughs> Most of, us, most of us can't wear these things out, but there are some people who can. <laughs> but do you, rem do you remember? Do you remember when we were in, in Austin? Uh -huh. And uh, I, think your, I think your dad told us that, you know, when, uh, when a new customer get a flashlight in a house, the flashlight was... This. Do, 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 do you remember, remember this story? Yeah. Do, do you remember? And if flashlight goes in the house, uh, it's going to stay because the wife wants so right. or the wife will leave if you don't throw up your flashlight <laughs> Seriously, this is true yeah. the, hey, look it's a very good product you have to make this mental hurdle of using a toy on yourself but once you do that it's the best thing there is man oh, it's, listen, it's, it's no different than touching yourself right once you do it then you can't stop doing it right. this is right. just a uh, arguably much more much more pleasurable way to do it and you guys have built a hell of a business, and I can tell you I've been there. Their factory, for example, it, it is amazing. The, the business side of this industry, the business side of a product like Fleshlight, to see the behind the scenes and the factory, um, he and his father invented, I, I mean, I don't even know how many things that you guys use to make this product the way it is, the way that works, and from a purely business yeah. standpoint, really, which is how I got involved with my very good friend Raul, the business side of what you guys do 